So to begin the uh, program portion of our evening, I would like to introduce the president and founder of Home Video Studio, Mr. Robert Hanley. Thank you, Frank. Thank you for being here tonight. It's uh, day five, and I hope everybody is having a great time. Uh, it's my pleasure now to introduce our uh, keynote speaker for tonight, our Rookie of the Year. Come on up, Dan. Well, I have to say it's a great honor to be here with such, uh, such a great group of video editors, producers, uh, directors, and video superstars. I want to take you all back about eight months. It's July. It's hot. It's dry sitting at one a table, much like this one, a round table. I'm in the desert in Las Vegas with my wonderful wife, Jan, and my equally wonderful daughter, Eliza. And uh, I'm attending my first home video studio uh, convention and the Hanley Awards. And um, up on stage is Robert Hanley with his the beautiful first lady of HVS. And they're about to announce the Rookie of the Year Award. Now, just a few minutes earlier, I was walking down the hall to go to this ballroom, and I just felt great. I probably felt like a lot of you feel when you're walking into the Hanleys. I just felt like I was knocking it out of the park that night and just was sure I was going to win that Rookie of the Year award. But then I walked in and I started talking to the other great first year studios uh, here at Home Video Studios. I talked to Arthur Bradshaw and I, I talked to Daryl Day and um, Joel Miller, just to name three. And all of a sudden it hit me like a ton of bricks. Doubt struck. And it struck me hard. And I, I sat back down at the table and I'm not convinced there's no way I'm going to win this award. I mean, who here has seen one of my videos? <laughs> All right? If you've seen one of my videos, you know I'm not the world's most technically gifted videographer. I've heard owners in this room describe some of my videos with the word love and hate about the same video. And you see this, this wire? This white, yellow, and red wire here? When I started, I couldn't tell you what this wire was called or what it did. And to tell you the truth, I still can't. <laughs> and, and I wasn't the highest grossing studio, so I know I had a good year, but I really didn't think it was going to happen. So I sit back down at the table, and I'm not convinced I'm not going to win this award. And I'm trying to decide between the chicken and the fish. And all of a sudden, I hear my name. I quickly look behind me. Is there, is there another Dan Weiniger here? But there isn't, so I slowly walk up on stage, and I thank Robert and I thank my mentor, Peter Gallo, and Jan, Eliza. And I'm, I'm very appreciative and excited about the award and a little overwhelmed. So it's getting late, and I head back up to my room, and it's time to go to sleep, but sleep's just not coming that night. I'm still thinking in the back of my head, you know, what was it? What gave me that edge? Why did I win this award? I, I wasn't the highest grossing studio. So, you know, I couldn't sleep. I just was trying to figure out what was it that got me the award that night. The next morning, I woke up. I was having breakfast with my daughter, and then it hit me. Then I knew. I had breakfast with my daughter, and I knew what it was. If you, if you spend a day with my daughter, Eliza, you're going to find a girl that's just full of enthusiasm. She wakes up in the morning. She's got a purpose in life. She, she's excited about what she's going to do, and she bounds down the steps. She says hello to her puppy. She's off to school. She comes home. She's excited about her homework or her flute lessons or you know, bike riding, whatever she's going to do. She's a powerhouse of excitement and enthusiasm. Excitement and enthusiasm, that may be the answer. My daughter tells me all the time. I just didn't see it. I think that might be the reason I won that award. Robert did it. Is that right? Might that yeah. be the reason? Okay. <laughs> this is participation. All right, now raise your hand if anyone ever saw the movie uh, Trading Places. Okay. It's starring Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy, and it's about people that trade commodities on the floor of an exchange. Uh, that was me right out of college. I bought a seat on the American Stock Exchange, and I didn't trade commodities. I traded something. I traded options on futures of a fictitious basket of stocks that reflected the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It was called XMI. So now you think about it, I produced no product for society, and I provided very little service. I provide a little liquidity to the marketplace. And from there, next I sold life insurance, a great product indeed, 
But think about it. Every night I would spend time at dining room tables talking to families about what would happen to them if the breadwinner should die. I never walked up, sold life insurance policy, brought it to my customer, put it in his hands. I never had him jump up and down and say, gee, I can't wait till my spouse gets a chance to use this. <laughs> <laughs> now look at what we do. We bring memories back to life. We preserve family histories at the same time. We bring joy and laughter to people's faces. And we help bring customers through our commercial videos through our, to our customers' businesses. And I'd like to tell you something that happened to me a few months ago that really made me realize why I'm so enthusiastic about this business. An elderly woman comes into my studio. She's using a walker. She comes in. I get her seated and comfortable. And then she takes her big bag. She's got a big bag with her. And she takes out a reel of 8 millimeter film. And she's holding this film like you would hold a baby. And she says, Sonny, you know, and I don't know why she's calling me Sonny, but she says, Sonny, this film is very precious to me. So I promise to take good care of it. I take her through the procedure, and, I, and we say goodbye. So a month later, the film comes back from Indianapolis. And I made a 3 o'clock appointment for this elderly woman to come by and pick up her transfer. So it's, about, it's earlier in the afternoon. I'm playing the video just to make sure it's there. And then all of a sudden, I hear, you know, knock on the door, and it's this elderly woman. She says, you know, I'm buying groceries. I was by your studio. Can I come by early and pick up my transfer? And of course, I say, that's all right. And I start to get her order ready. I'm getting a bag, and I'm getting a case for the DVD. And suddenly, she starts to cry. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, what did Craig in the film department do now? <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> not really. I'm thinking, you know, what went wrong? So I turn, I look at my computer, and I don't see anything wrong. There's, a, there's images of a baby being bathed in the uh, kitchen sink. And so I turn to the, the woman. I say, is everything OK? And after a long pause, she says to me, you know, I haven't seen these images in 60 years. She says, that's me in the, in the sink getting bathed, and that's my mother bathing me. You know, that's why I'm in this business. And that's, I can't describe to you the joy in this woman's face by the product we deliver and that we deliver every day. It brought such joy to this sweet elderly woman's face, and that's, that's why I get up every morning, and that's why I'm excited to be in this business. So this is, this is why I'm so enthusiastic about this business, and that's why all of you people, your first-year studio owners, and everyone in this room should be so excited and enthusiastic about this business. It's a great time to be part of Home Video Studio and what we do. And I just want to thank everybody for this opportunity. Thank you. Dan, you really have a sense of humor, which I already knew. That was great. Good. Very, very. Did you like? Wasn't that great? Well, so Dan came on board a year and a half ago. And everybody knows Dan teaches a class on social media, and he has one this Saturday. So Dan comes on board in like July. And we always talk about getting a quick start. From the second he came on board, I started getting like emails and check-ins on Facebook, and Dan Weininger sent you a message on Facebook all the time. And uh, you know, sometimes I have to call owners and say, "How come you haven't done this?" Or "How come you haven't done this?" It was like he was just the Flash, just doing everything. So uh, it's been um, it's been a pleasure to have you aboard, Dan, and thank you for taking the time to um, to be here tonight. All right, I think. I think we've got champagne, is that correct? Yes. Yes. It's been a great year so far. We're glad that you joined us this week and we look forward to the rest of the week. Um, just have a wonderful year and Godspeed. We look forward to seeing you at the Hanleys and at getaway number 12. So as Rafael Menez would say, say 
Absolutely. Thank you for being here. You're here.